Good evening. My name is Emma Molera. Before I begin, I'd like to ask all of you to introduce yourself to the person sitting right next to you. How'd it go? Did you, did you make a new friend? Was there a mansion? Every day we meet new people. We always focus on what we say and what is said to us in return, such as hello or how are you? Every day we emote facial expressions from angry to happy to sad. We have been conditioned and trained to recognize these emotions our whole lives since we were ch children. But do we focus on our arms, our legs, the way we move them? Lots of times when people are communicating, they will say things to act or seem interested in what the other person is saying. While this, while this may be completely true based on what they're saying and what their face looks, their arms and legs might tell a different story. Say, say you're talking to someone and their arms are hunched up, they're folded, they're folded, if you're getting they keep looking at the door, and, but they still they, they keep saying that, they're, that they want to keep talking to you. Their body says that they just want to get out of there as soon as they can. Keeping this in mind, you should always know that we use these, we use these um, motions in our body subconsciously every day when we speak to each other. For this, for this reason, it's always very important to understand how to use a good first impression on someone. Having a good first impression on someone, not just by your, what you say, but by what you're wearing and what your arms and legs say, are very important. One of the most important ways to do it is to do a handshake. Throughout history, the hand and the open palm has meant so much. Open palm usually represents trustworthiness, sincerity, loyalty, loyalty. For example, when a president swears into office, they put their open hands on the Bible. When you're pledging allegiance to our flag, you put your right hand on your heart. When you're, when you're swearing to oath in court, you have your right hand up. Common theme when you're right, it's your hand. And this trustworthiness and this sincerity is demonstrated through a handshake. Now it may not seem like it, but a lot of research has done has been done on different types of handshakes and the effectiveness of them. Here's an example. The heart and hand pressure. <laughs> I know this this one looks very cringy and painful. But when someone gives this gives a handshake like this, even though they may not say it, they're giving themselves off as being dominant. They want to force themselves into um, seeming like they have control over the relationship. On the other hand, you don't want to shake hands with a dead fish. <laughs> if, you, if, if you give someone your hand, and it's a cold, wet, clammy hand, it's a cold, wet, cold, wet and clammy first impression you're giving them. Because I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to shake a dead fish. <laughs> You might be familiar with this handshake, which is called the double-hander. This isn't as common as the other ones, but it's also given off. Well, if I like the first one, this type of handshake can, use, can be used to emote dominance, but not so much in an aggressive way, but more of a sincere and intimate way. That being said, there's lots of times this handshake can be the you know, equivalent to a hug. And you wouldn't hug a stranger off the street. So, when, when interacting with people, use this handshake when you feel like a hug would be equally appropriate. So you can use this in, with a good friend or a family member. And not just the way that you're gripping the hand, but the way you present the hand. Study has, studies have been shown that when, the, when a hand shake is given with the palm facing down, the person is trying to gain dominance over the relationship. On the other hand, if someone's giving their a handshake with their palm facing up, this is usually showing this is usually means submissiveness, and then you see yourself as a lower status than the others. Now, people when they shake hands, they might have this in mind. So say, so say someone gets is received is offered their hand face down, and since they want to have gain power, the control, as soon as they grab their hand, they'll try to twist it. So right from the handshake alone, there's a control of power. 
But ideally, if both, if both palms are perpendicular to the floor, give an equally a sturdy, strong handshake. That means a sturdy, strong start of a good relationship. A study has been done a couple years ago in the University of Iowa. They selected 100 students to participate in mock job interviews, job interview, pretend job interviews to assist in real life interviews. Now what they weren't aware of was that right after the job interview, they were going to meet with professional handshakers. Now they, they had no idea that these were professional handshakers. They thought they were just regular business people that they were going to talk to during their mock interview. And these professional handshakers, as they shook their hand, were, so, were secretly rating their hand on how firm it was, how sturdy it was, and so on. And as a result of this, those who scored higher with the handshake were also favorable by potential employers. That being said, there are many employers who have said that they can tell within the first two minutes of a job interview, no matter how long it is, whether they want to hire him, the employee or not. And this all have, comes down to the handshake and the way they present themselves. So that, so there alone, you can tell how much power there is in a handshake. But not, when putting the handshake aside, that's not the only thing to look, look for when you're communicating. Always pay attention to eye contact. In unspoken communication, eye contact is critical to demonstrate whether you're paying attention, you're attentive to what the speaker is saying, and at the same time, it shows respect that you're listening. And it's not enough just to, not just to get good eye contact, because that, it's also difficult to maintain it. Because you don't want to stare down at the person as well, because you'll be taken off as assertive and trying too hard. You don't want to do that. So what you want to do is just keep looking at them, like look at their eyes, their mouths, what, listen to what they're saying. If there's any paper of importance to find, you can see a good glance of that. But if but for any reason you look away from the person, make sure it's not at a door or a clock. Now let's put it all together. Say someone, let's say you meet someone, they, they're very hesitant to give you a handshake. And as they're talking to you, they keep, black, they keep glancing at their watch, looking at the door. Say body language was a feature available on Google Translate. This will translate in big capital letters, I do not want to be here right now. <laughs> so right there alone, you have to put everything together when I'm communicating, from their hands to their eyesight. Because our body speaks in volumes without us even having to say anything. I can pretty much guarantee there's a, at least a few people in this auditorium who's prepared, who's prepared for a job interview in the next few days. Even a blind date. You should, uh, you should always keep in mind what your hands and what your face says, because that right there, there is imperative in an important job interview. And even beyond the job interview, even when making new friends, with a sincere hand and a sincere face, you'll be given off as a sincere person, along with anything good you have to say. There are many teachers in the high school and friends as well. When I first met them, they offered me a firm handshake. And right then and there, I realized, well, they have a lot of respect for me, and in turn, I have a lot of respect for them. This was before I even realized the power of a handshake. So that there alone says that how important it is to know about it. And ever since then, with these teachers, with these friends, we always give each other a warm handshake. Same with my family, with my uncles. Whenever we see each other, we give each other a handshake because it means respect and sincerity within a relationship. The next time you're watching TV or a movie, pay attention to what the people are saying, not with their mouths, but with their hands. Who, who's, which character is being dominated over the other? Who doesn't care about the situation at all? Which characters are sincere in what they're doing? You can, you can demonstrate this through their body and through their eyes. When you leave here tonight, there's a good chance you might meet someone new. There's a good chance you already met someone new earlier today. So for this reason, please keep everything in mind about what volumes your hands and your eyes speak. I hope you learned something new 
about how powerful their hands can be, how important it is to put all these together and meet new friends and meet new people. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of our presentation.